What's up everybody, this is Fred with Game Blips coming at you with another review here. Um, what you just saw was a portion of the teaser trailer for the CD that I've got here. It's the Respect the Prime 1986 Revisited. Uh, this CD is amazing. Uh, I purchased it uh, along with, I'll just pop up here real quick, the t-shirt and this wonderful concert poster which actually has my ticket for where I purchased it at at the uh, Cold Waves Cold Waves 5 uh, industrial uh, festival and uh, that was in Chicago Illinois uh, this CD is amazing <laughs> it's done by uh, I'm not sure which way to say it. Is it Distortion product uh, Productions or is it uh, Electronic Saviors? I mean, it's like kind of the same people, same person. Uh, but uh, but either way, uh, this CD is actually, it's literally 1986 revisited. Not the whole year, just the portion with um, Transformers the movie. And the soundtrack, the amazing soundtrack that it had. Crazy, crunchy, hair metal-y soundtrack that it's got. Uh, but in this case, this album goes back and brings you back to all of the tracks. Not only the the uh, hair metal band the tracks, but actually even all the uh, all the Vince DiCola tracks, all the uh, uh, the instrumental tracks that were associated with it. And they they collected all of these artists, all these industrial artists, put them together in one album to redo the whole soundtrack from Transformers the movie. Uh, you also get a couple of bonuses because they doubled a couple. You got, uh, well the first one is The Touch. Everybody knows that, Stan Bush, yeah, right? Uh, but then there's uh, Instruments of Destruction, uh, Nothing's Gonna Stand in Our Way, Hunger. Uh, so th you get a couple of doubles on there, mainly because, you know, they're just awesome songs. Uh, the album is just I, mean, I can't get over I'm, I'm gushing about it uh, I listened to it at least I think once or twice on the way home from Chicago uh, it prompted me to think about where did I put my original soundtrack that I had as a kid um, and the soundtrack is kind of hilarious I had, I had the album like the actual LP uh, record <laughs> what are those right what are CDs uh, <laughs> so it prompted me to think about where that went, and uh, I, I haven't seen it since I think I was in junior high, so many, many moons ago. And then, of course, that prompted me to go a step further and like, hmm, I should probably buy the soundtrack again, the original one. So I did. I went on uh, Google Play and just repurchased the whole thing. Uh, I've been listening to them essentially back to back this past week, uh, nerding out at work. You know, I'm just doing my work stuff, training out documentation and uh, you know, things like that. So uh, they did an amazing job. Uh, I asked Jim, the man behind Electronic Saviors and uh, Distortion Productions, is the, you know, if I could just grab a couple of quick snippets. You'll probably hear a bunch of it in the background here uh, of uh, some of the different tracks. And he said, absolutely. And uh, so just kind of keep an ear in the back there. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully I don't get hit with a uh, uh, copyright dealio on uh, YouTube. If so, I'm going to have to re-upload this with, uh, with my normal backtrack or maybe I'll write a new one. But uh, uh, just kind of listen to some of the, the music that we got going on in the back. It's, it's really good. The tracks are... They're not just complete remakes one-to-one -one of the original versions. Of course, it's got the uh, um, like the darker tone that a lot of uh, industrial music has. Sometimes, like it's a key change uh, from like a major to a minor uh, for all you music nuts out there. Uh, it's so that I happen to mention it's good. It's amazing. <laughs> the uh, the CD the CD cover is great. Um, I'm going to show it again. It's the same thing as the poster, uh, same thing as the um, the t-shirt I've got on right now. Uh, some of the backstory behind this. So Jim approached uh, Hasbro at, at one of the bot cons and said, hey, I've got this project in the works already. I want to uh, do an electronic industrial redo of the original 86 soundtrack from the movie. 
and they're like, yeah, this sounds great. Just send us an email with uh, all the info wrapped up into it, and you know, we'll we'll see if we can get this going. The original, uh, the original packaging that he had of it uh, was uh, very directly titled like with Transformers and Optimus Prime. You know, everything that's kind of like uh, trademark and copyrighted. Unfortunately, they responded back and saying, no, sorry, we can't do any fan projects that. Um, uh, that directly relate to Hasbro properties. Uh, so he was kind of bummed, and what he did is he uh, made changes. He made specific changes to help uh, kind of skirt around the uh, the issue, and he was still able to get this out. So I don't know what the original name was, but uh, of course now it's called uh, Respect the Prime 1986 Revisited. Uh, a very nondescript, but we all know what it is, chest of Optimus Prime with the uh, the cab opened up, and the Matrix, but it has the Electronic Saviors uh, logo on top of the center of the Matrix instead of the uh, uh, the actual, like the crystal and things like that. See if I can get a better shot of this. Uh, uh, uh. I'll probably have a, uh, uh, I'll do a, a zoom in like I did, like I've been starting to do, like with the, uh, the pocket chip unboxing I did. So um, on the back, of course, track listing, got the electronic saviors uh character mascot uh on the back giving a handshake to maybe it's optimus prime don't know <laughs> and if the art looks very very familiar uh a lot of this is uh, uh illustrated and colored by kcw color and uh john john paul uh i'm gonna mangle his name both bovi mm, wish i would have done the a little bit, just a smidge more on that one. But uh, yeah, so I mean, this is all IDW comics essentially uh, uh, illustrated. Uh, this is this is great. The, uh, the inside cover um, has, uh, of course, you know, liner notes and whatnot. Uh, a couple of different quick little, I guess we can call them essays. Uh, uh, this whole thing just screams love letter to Transformers and the love of. Um, G1. It's it's just amazing. If uh, if you get a chance, definitely check this out. Go get the ooh, I'm dropping it. <laughs> go get the uh, go get go buy this. It's it's so worth it. If you have any need or want to continue your love for Transformers and the the G1 portion of the lifespan. Uh, don't miss out on this one. I've, I've heard a bunch of other uh, tribute albums and everything to Transformers, especially the G1 side of things, and uh, nothing has compared to this. It's it's amazing. I just I can't get over how good this is. It, <laughs> uh, if you oh yes also if you are also a uh, member of Amazon Prime. Hop over there because you get access to uh, like music and Audible and uh, of course Twitch. All them. Uh, but most of all, they also have the original movie from '86, the soundtrack, available for uh, for Prime members as well. So you can stream that to your heart's content. Uh, yes, I could have just used that instead of repurchasing the album off of Google for my Google Play account, but I kind of want the album instead of having it included with a service that I'll eventually maybe uh, discontinue using so I would lose that as well so yeah this is uh, me Fred with game blips loving this it's so good uh, a little quick review uh, like I said hopefully you get to hear some of the music in the background um, if I have to re-upload this uh, I'll I'll do it, just unfortunately without the audio clips. But uh, yeah, check it out. Uh, there are samples of it all over the web. You can check it out there. Uh, you don't take my word for it. This sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a reading rainbow thing. Uh, don't take my word for it. Uh, but you'd be crazy not to get this. Uh, I'm gonna finish out this video with the other half of the uh, the trailer. So you can kind of check out some of the other stuff, the track listings, uh, the, uh, the artists, and things like that. So anyway, this is Fred with Game Blips, and we'll see you on the next video.